comes to the library for a picnic? <laughs> we do! <laughs> It's Liam Mouse Vlog, Liam Mouse Vlog, it's Liam Mouse's Vlog. It's a beautiful day here in Tampa, Florida. It's about 60 something degrees, 62, 60, I don't know, something like that. It's a little chilly, it's brisk, it's beautiful. And what we are doing today is we are going on a picnic. We have returned to the Austin Davis Library where it is actually open today. Okay, so we have Carl Fendig. We have that other one that we can't remember the name of. We have Port Tampa. Mm -hmm. Is there another one? Yeah, there is another one, isn't there? There's that one on Manhattan. And then this one. And I just lost count of however many that was. Is that five? Four. Four. Upper Regional, Tampa, Austin Davis, Fendig, Port Tampa. Oh, it's five. Yeah, it is five. The Manhattan one. Dang. All right, we're gonna try to find the used book room. Oh, wait, water, water, water. <laughs> my bag. Okay. Oh, there. Oh, uh -huh. oh, yeah. Yay. The dog. <laughs> it's going to be towering over the top. It's like the bag is this tall, but they're going to be up here on the screen. <laughs> oh, what in the... French yeah, it looks French. Either that or it's Italian or something. Oh my goodness. How do they even get this? That's weird. Okay, I'm gonna go book shopping. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or we have the Yiddish Policeman's Union by the Pulitzer Prize winning author of The Amazing Adventures of Cavalier and Clay. He said that there's no difference between a young adult and a child. <laughs> We're doing the boo. We started doing the boo thing. Every time one of us turns away, we go ah, and then if they turn around, we're like, <laughs> the boo's much cuter when you do. <laughs> so here's my section. I won't be pilfering that. And it is different. Children, young adult. No difference. There is a difference. Look, just because I'm five foot two, and there's a chair, and I'm crashing into stuff. Shh. Shh. Oh, ooh. I found something already. The Spy Catchers of Maple Hill. Yes, this is getting good with me. I have something in. Oh, the Tales of Uncle Remus. Oh, The Misadventures of Br'er Rabbit, Br'er Fox, Br'er Wolf, the Doodang, and other creatures. Oh my goodness. There's this thing I like to lay down, it's called the wall. <laughs> There's a thing I like to retaliate with, it's called a knife ant. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, so I think I heard of this book before, it's just why I picked it up. It's a story about a series of people in the Vietnam War. Anyways, there's a little memento in here, something to use as a bookmark, and it's a letter. It says, Dear Bob, encloses a book Tim mentioned to you and has wanted to send you. We hope you find it worthwhile reading. Congratulations to Peter on his joining the Marines. That takes both courage and grit. Do you hear from him? What does he have to say? It sounds as though Matt and Tim are quite busy too. It's hard to imagine that all of our kids are in or approaching college and it is the next generation of little ones who are being born. Some of Molly, Ken, and Jean's second cousins and Will Matt have an 18 month old daughter. It makes me feel old, but it is also fun to watch the little ones. And it goes on. It's wow. It's very personal. It is. It's <laughs> well, you should then. Yeah. See, one of the reasons that I predominantly stick to middle grade or young adult books is because when they look cool and sound cool and seem cool, they are cool. I don't like 
graphic imagery or violence or gore or macabre stuff. So I pick up an adult book like this that looks really cool. The Devil in Mont... Some French, French town. But uh, it looks cool, doesn't it? And it says it's a, a mystery in Paris, okay? And then I open it up and the description says, Amid the hustle and bustle of the Paris 1889 Universal Exposition, workers discover the mutilated corpse of a popular model and Moulin Rouge can-can dancer in a sewer. Already that's off-putting to me. Hysterical rumors swirl that Jack the Ripper has crossed the channel, and Inspector Achille somebody enters the Parisian underworld to track down the brutal killer. His suspects are the artist somebody, Jojo, an acrobat at the Circus Fernando, and Sir Henry Collingwood, a mysterious English gynecologist and amateur artist. That might sound cool to some of you, and that's fine to me. No, not so much. I'm not interested in a mutilated corpse of a can-can Moulin Rouge dancer or an English gynecologist who might or might have not murdered her. <laughs> Whoa. Open that up. I want to see inside. Oh, yes. Whoa. Oh. Blue. So you're getting three books so far. Yes. And I'm only getting three books. Only three books. Oh, good. You hit your gap. Good job. I'm getting this. Oh, oh. <laughs> Warn me. No. If I warned you, it wouldn't be sneaking up on you. <laughs> There's the donation box here, so I figured I would root through that a little bit. And right on top, I found four Anne of Green Gables books that I w wanted, and here they are. This is so pretty out here. I just, I would never know I'm in Florida right now, because it's actually decently cool outside, and all these trees are just so pretty. <sighs> We're going to have our picnic. Where do you want to have our picnic? You want to go to the park? We've come over to the park. That's literally the library right there with the lights. It's so chilly. It feels it feels like fall. We're gonna have Berkey Bend, which is this is what we call turkey sandwiches. Berkey Bend, which is yeah, it feels like fall right now, yes. <laughs> which is funny since you know like Erie and Ohio and stuff are experiencing like a state of emergency with this the snowstorms. Like Halloween weather. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It is very Halloween-y. Yeah, there's hooligans on the swings over there oh, anyway. I was <laughs> <laughs> thinking the same exact thing. Hot and shots! Remember that? <laughs> yeah, I remember hot. Yeah, that's going way back. Oh, that's nice. Good job, Lou. I brought a great thing Thank you. I brought a lighter, but it's in my pouch, which I forgot in the car. Here we have Chef Mike, as Gordon Ramsay would put it, except you're not a microwave. <laughs> oh, yeah. Preparing our gourmet. Thank you. <laughs> your bandages. Sandwiches. And I'm going to light the candle. Thank you. Oh, it's romantic. Yeah, it is. <laughs> this is our sandwich. <laughs> yes, here in our redwood forest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all our to ourselves. Turkey sandwiches, yes. Yeah, the hot and hot thing goes all the way back to the phenylalanine days. Oh, yeah, beginning. Yeah. I know, I loved our first week. Shannon was asking me about that today. She's like, did you guys vlog your first meeting? And she wasn't talking about the airport. Yeah. I was like, I did, but that was back when Mike didn't want to be shown on image yeah. camera and I kept saying my friend Michael yeah I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> like some dork <laughs> that was your name on Facebook oh, and I didn't okay. know any different I didn't know you as Mike yeah fair enough. I knew you as Michael <laughs> <laughs> and you know you wouldn't allow yourself to be seen just like my friend Michael <laughs> oh. and the turkey mm-hmm mm. mm. <laughs> huddled around the fire mm. <laughs> We're like homeless people huddling <laughs> around a trash fire. <laughs> With our sandwiches. Mm. Well, since we're talking about the old days, full time sake, we gotta get it. Mm. Yeah! <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Mike is being innovative. He's making a piece of toast. <laughs> so that we can have something crunchy because we don't have chips. It's getting there. <laughs> I can smell it. Oh my god, me too. Wow. It's it toasted be... a little bit. Wow, it did. <laughs> I oh mean, naturally, it's fire, but yeah. I don't know why that surprised me. But... 
toast points roasting on an open fire. <laughs> okay, I won't lie, it's getting a little cold. <laughs> There's still people over there in like shorts and t-shirts playing basketball. Mm -hmm. You look so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's a little chilly. It's nice, though. I'm not I'm definitely not complaining. This is good. And considering what the rest of the nation is going through, um, hashtag sorry, not sorry. <laughs> On the record show. Yes, let the record reflect that it is, in fact, 59 degrees right now. And we're out. Well, he's not because he's okay with stuff, but I'm, like, bundling up because this is kind of chilly that I like. But, like, he said it feels like right before Halloween. To me, it feels like about October 14th or something. Mm. Feels like mid-October, like yeah. leading up to Halloween. And it's nice. And the only reason I'm doing this is because I get um, a sore throat and sinus problems really easily with cold weather because I breathe it in. Like my body isn't cold, but if I breathe in enough cold air, I get a sinus and sore throat problem. So the hot and top spans have come to collect. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Time to come home to the wonderful life of the suburbs. You grew up in a suburb. <laughs> Mom and dad bought it all for you, ain't they? <laughs> <laughs> What's that from? I'm down with the devil, Joe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is funny. Grew up in the summer. Mom and dad's boss it off for you. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm an evil motherfucker, Joe. <laughs> so I never appreciated that as much until I knew. I heard of that, but I never really cared until you showed it to me. Thanks. Something I love it. Tiny little white girl appreciating the beauty of the, the mushroom head hidden track. This <laughs> <laughs> summer back when I was in elementary school, we had these computers that had this game on it called Thinking Things Collection 2. And it had like a bunch of little neat things you could mess with, like little cool graphical effects and sounds mm -hmm. and crap like that. And there was this one sound, there was like a 20 tracks that just looped, and one that, one that always stood out to me was and it just did that the whole time <laughs> and we were talking about the seance thing i was like we chant and that oh. was the chant that came into my mind oh we know we know i'm toasting bread <laughs> that's funny yeah i said we were sitting over here with our candle lit we got like black hoods up and everything he's like yeah we're burning stuff he's like probably thought we were having a seance or some crap <laughs> I'll take different vlog angles for a thousand, Alex. <laughs> and we're finally coming to Twisty Treat. We kept driving past it and seeing it. We we're like, we need to go there sometime. We're finally going there. Now is sometime. It's a giant ice cream cone with twinkling lights on top. It's beautiful. Twisty Treat. This place is cool. It is a giant ice cream cone. So this is my twisty treat. Coconut on coconut. Yeah, that's how I do it. <laughs> What'd you get? Strawberry vanilla. Oh, that looks awesome. What? Oh. Oh. oh my god. Just like in Canada. I know! That took me to Canada with that bite. I'm in Canada. Right now. Ooh. Yeah, the weather seems to match it. It does. And the fact that we've never come here before, it's like new. Mm -hmm. So it's not. It familiar. always seems like it doesn't feel like camp for the week. I know. Oh, so wonderful. Thank you. Mmm. <laughs> this has been a glorious day. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> and on that note, I will go ahead and say. Oh. Oh. Okay, bye. <laughs>